Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to create public holidays in Oracle HCM Cloud based on the locations. For example, in India we have various states. The public holidays in most cases are specific to the states except that national holidays which is applicable across the country. For example, a public holiday specific to the state named Andhra Pradesh may not be applicable for the state Tamil Nadu. To achieve the solution for this requirement, we need to configure four different components. The first one is work schedule. Let's create the work schedule. Click on setup and maintenance. Select workforce information under workforce deployment. Click on all tasks here and then click on workshops. For this demonstration, I am going to use the type called elapsed. The shift has been created. I'm closing this. Then let's get into workday patterns. We need to essentially select the same type when we create the work pattern because we need to associate the shift that we have created in the previous step uh, into this particular pattern. The pattern has been created, click on done, then get into work schedules. Give the name for the work schedule. Select the type as elapsed. It's supposed to be the same type which you have used for shift and pattern. I have given approximately 6 years period here. Select the pattern we have created in the previous step. Add exception. Here choose calendar event category. And then select public holiday. Click on submit. Now the work schedule configuration has been done. The next step is to define the geography node in the standard lookup provided by Oracle. I go back. Click on manage availability lookups. Click on ORA per geographic tree nodes. Let's check if we have geography nodes already added for India. Yes, in this environment, we have all the states already added here in this lookup, which we can add it in the geography tree. So we are not going to do 
any modification here because we already have a data in case in your environment uh, if there is no states available or there is no node available for your requirement then just add a row here so that this can be added as a part of geography tree we are now done with the geographic nodes let's go back and get into the next step which is the geography trees so click on manage geography trees in this environment we already have a geography tree for india let's get into this geography tree to see whether we have states added into this geography tree for india So this is a top node i'm expanding this so if you take a look at this under india we have almost all the states added here in your requirement in case if the node is not added in the geography tree or the geography tree itself is not available then you may have to create a tree and add nodes here so in our case we are not doing any modifications here because we have the header node and also all the states here captured under this header node so click on cancel the next step is to associate this geography node that we have added here into the respective locations for example in case of andhra pradesh we have to find a location created for andhra pradesh and associate a node called andhra pradesh into that particular location so that that location is tagged with this geography node when it is assigned to the employee assignment for this demonstration i am going to do this association for a couple of location the first location is bangalore once we open this location definition click on correct then scroll down to a field named geographic hierarchy here type in karnataka because bangalore city comes under the state karnataka so now we have established a link between the geography node karnataka with the respective location click on submit so i am going to do the same for hyderabad as well now we are done with establishing the link between the node and the locations now the next step rather a final step is to define the public holidays click on manage calendar events under workforce information click on create let's create a public holiday for bangalore first so here it is important to select the category that we have selected at the work schedule definition level let's define 18th of March 2024 as a public holiday
select geographic hierarchy type here and then here select the right hierarchy under which we have all the nodes so in our case it is geography tree for india then we will be having the top node populated here we can expand this to see the right child node so in our case for bangalore it is going to be karnataka let's scroll down and locate karnataka so karnataka is here click on this row and then click on include button here so the scope of this particular public holiday is added for this node now you know the node is already associated with the location the moment you associate a location to the employee now this public holiday will be assigned to the employee automatically click on submit i am going to also create the public holiday for hyderabad So I am selecting a different date here. So the public holiday has been created now. Let's go and run some test for the employee record. I am bringing up the employee record who belongs to Bangalore location. Let's add the work schedule that we have created. I am also bringing up an employee record who belongs to Hyderabad location. All the steps have been completed now. I logged in as an employee. Let's go and check the work schedule. Under me. get into team schedule if you look at this row we have a public holiday here this employee belongs to bangalore we have declared public holiday on 18th of march for bangalore let's log out and log in as an employee who belongs to hyderabad If you can see, this employee belongs to uh, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh. We have declared public holiday for uh, Telangana as of 20th of March. So this is also populating correctly. We can see the public holiday name also here. We hope you found this content useful. Thank you for watching.